Welcome back to our special Pride Preview edition of Out and About Today. I'm Pam Wheeler. Joey's back here. He's our president of Nashville Pride. And now we're joined with Phil Cabucci, the president-elect. Oh, thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you. So Brent covered that it's June 24th, 25th at Public yep. Square Park. Right. The first important question is, what's new this year? So much fun new stuff okay. this year, so we'll hop right into that. So we're definitely happy to be able to elevate the festival in, in some areas. So our entertainment stage, where you'll have drag performances all day Saturday, we're bumping it up there. And also our VIP, Opry Mills VIP area is going to be extra luxe this year. So, that's so it's Opry fun. Mills VIP. That's right. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep, yeah, new sponsor this year. We're glad to have on board. I like it. So let me see. I'm sorry. Um, tell me, tell us what you can expect on the festival. I want to know how many vendors. I, everything's taken sure. up a notch. So what does that mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have 200 vendors this year. It's uh, increased by almost 100%. It's incredible. It's great. Um, we're also increasing the footprint of the festival this year. So it'll be, there'll be so much more to experience. Um, food trucks, uh, local vendors, artisans. It's going to be the full works. And we're going to have the Delta Sky Lounge this year, which is yes. new and exciting. Let me so be showing a, a, a sponsor before well, Everything. Hey, you know, the sponsors You're so are coming to us, and we're finding ways to get them it's involved. And you know, but it's you know elevating different pieces of the festival, which is great. So the Delta Sky on the observational deck up there, where people like to hang out anyway, we're just going to ratchet that up and make it you know pretty swanky up there for people. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because Brent touched on it. Every year should be the best year of Pride, right? Sure. We want everything to be better. Is it easy these days getting? Do people knock on your door to give you money? Pam, do you see my gray hair? <laughs> I do, I do, no. I do. No. So we're not, it's not easy. No. It, you don't have not, everything done. Yeah. No, right. but it's hard work and we have a great team of volunteers I, and a great board. And I just want to interrupt to talk about the team. How big is the board? And then you've got that Jack Davis as the director. That's who's right. Sure crazy yeah. good. It's crazy good. How, how big is the board? We have 16 people on the board right and now. Yes. Okay, that's a the board has expanded. The that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, and it's a it's a great. We have a lot of uh, new blood on the board this year. Yeah. Everybody's really excited and able to really own different pieces of the festival so that we can focus in because I mean it's a huge production. There's a lot of moving there, pieces going there on. There are. It's really impressive. Yeah. And you said before we got on air that it takes 200 volunteers up and yes. down to get the yeah. whole thing on. Yes, and we need more volunteers. So NationalPride.org. NationalPride.org. Absolutely. There's a form. Uh, volunteers can go fill out their information. We have an awesome new volunteer coordinator, Jeremy, who. Will be in touch like ASAP and you can even like choose the kind of time frame you want to work and that sort of thing how yep. you want to get involved and always looking for more volunteers okay I like it so let's get back to the details Friday night we've mentioned Brent mentioned in the previous seg segment there's a concert yes yes you pay how much money to get in to that you buy a weekend pass it's $25 okay uh, and That's it covers cheap. The full concert on Friday night, as well as your access to the festival on Saturday. So, is it like dusk to gates open at six on okay. Friday? Okay, so that's mm -hmm. earlier than dusk. And um, tell me about which I love this feature, the VIP. Yeah, I mean, friends with benefits <laughs> tells the whole gig because yeah, it's worth sure. it, you yeah. people. It's worth buying it the VIP. It definitely is. So VIP, we can talk about pricing, but so the parts, the benefits of VIP, you're going to get um, unlimited drinks, soft drinks, and water. You're going to get four drink tickets each day if you do the weekend VIP pass. Uh, you get your private bar, private restrooms back there, and some finger foods throughout the day. And, you know, a nice shaded area yep. near the stage. It's great. Once people get there, it's always like, how can we get in? But usually we're, we're going to sell out. So That's right. I've had plenty of people that want to get in that day and sell. So buy your tickets online ahead of time so absolutely yeah. how much does it cost sure. and it's worth every penny you should raise the price but how much is it <laughs> it is worth every penny uh, the prices are are posted on the website but they it's a it's around a hundred dollars uh, plus or minus for the weekend uh, for VIP both Friday and Saturday night and then you can either buy if you can't do the entire weekend you can do VIP for Friday or VIP for Saturday but it's all on the website and I would encourage our viewers when they plan their givings for the next year to join Friends with Benefits because you get all the stuff. It's yeah. all worth it. You pay yeah. a small amount to get everything. Mm -hmm. For $250, it's a tax deductible donation to join our Friends with Benefits uh, program. So you get tickets to our events throughout the year as well as access to an exclusive VIP area only for our Friends with Benefits. It's an added perk yeah. at the festival. So that's the, you know, the, if the stage side kind of VIP. It's very limited um, as a bonus for these people who help us, you know, Early, early on, you know, fund the festival throughout the year. It's well worth it. So, tell me what the budget is for this 
this little Friday Saturday night thing. This I don't, little thing. Yeah. yeah. How much is it? It's not cheap. I can tell you that. I much. know. You know it, what, what is it now? Because last time I was involved, it didn't hit. It was seventy thousand. Yeah. Well, it's uh, try uh, doubling tri that. Uh, and more. Triple. Yeah. Triple. So we're, we're, we're getting up there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So, who can you thank for putting together some of this money? What sponsors do you want to mention while you're here? Well, definitely want to thank Bridgestone, who returns as our presenting sponsor again this year and hasn't been a long time long time sponsor. Also, Nissan, who returns this year. Um, we also have Coors Light. In um, new this year, we have Genesco and Journeys, uh, who are sponsoring our Kids Zone and Youth Area. And um, Delta is also new, and those are some of our major new sponsors. But um, there are tons more beyond that that, that we would like to thank. Uh, let me ask you this. So you mentioned, to Brent, there's a lot more families that come out. What what will families uh, be attracted to this year at the festival? This you know, year, I have a kid now, so yeah, I need to know this. I never yeah. cared five years ago. This year, we're actually putting a lot of effort behind our kids and family zones. Uh, and our our kids zone uh, this year is going to have a carnival type theme. Oh wow! Uh, so it'll be games for for kids throughout the day. Um, and a variety of different activities. Uh, our family zone, is, or our, our teen and youth zone, is sponsored is a uh, put on by Oasis Center, and so they'll be working on that area. Uh, and they have a lot of fun activities as well for the family. So I like it. You guys are smart to partner with people. Yeah. That that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Our board member Pam Kellner uh, has been doing an amazing job setting up the kids zone. So we're really excited about a new change to that this year. So I want to leave our folks with this. I want to try to motivate people to get involved because yeah. probably when you got involved, Joey, you weren't planning on being president and staying on for as many years as you have. Phil, you're just starting your journey into the presidency that's going to start in just uh -huh. a little while, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. pitch, give people the pitch on how they get involved and, or why they should because you need people, right? Yeah. You don't know who's going to be the next president-elect after you, the elect-elect. Right. Really Absolutely. quickly, we have a minute left. I yeah, want great. Well, yeah, our board meetings are open on Wednesday. All that information can be found on our website, and you know, it's it's a great way just to come and find out how you might want to help. How, what are your you know expertise or what are your interests? Yep. You know, and it's no pressure. We I try to make it fun, and I try to keep it right at an hour, so that in respect of everybody's time. But there's so many cool ways to get involved, and it's a great for networking. You know, know who you're going to meet and um, how, what you know unique experiences you can bring to leverage um, it's really just a great it's a great thing all around I agree Phil what do you have to say about that you know I, I got involved with uh, pride by saying that I wanted to help with social media uh, that's what I do for a living and from there it turned into social media and graphics and marketing and now I'm yeah, in when, this. They, when they see talent they grab it <laughs> so I mean but it's been one of the greatest joys of my life to serve on the board and oh, so that's awesome well thanks guys you're gonna stay right here I think cause yep. Chuck's gonna talk to you so <laughs> don't go way out there when we come back the inter entertainment outlook is next and Chuck will get all the info on this year's pride entertainment lineup stay with us